It's the year 2015. It's a brand new year. In January, in the United States, there's a holiday. It's called Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And we celebrate his legacy. In years past, this celebration has kind of become a little commercialized to some. His message has been softened and massaged because who can really say they're against equality? The trick around civil disobedience and why I have been a part of the Black Lives Matter movement that's sweeping the country is one of the core facets around Dr. King's teaching was that civil disobedience is made to raise the tension because there's an issue happening in society that the culture refuses to face for whatever reason. In our lives, in our times, one of those things that our culture refuses to face in America is the police brutality and violence against specifically young black folks. They're being condemned and tried and executed on the streets of America. And so the Black Lives Matter movement was born to say that that's wrong and we need to find a way to stop it. On this MLK Day, Myself, along with thousands of people across the country, are going to march to honor his legacy, but not just the sanitized version that we've all heard and are familiar with. We're also going to honor the, the, his legacy of raising the tension in the country to such a pitch that it cannot, can no longer be ignored. It's MLK Day. I hope that you'll find your own ways to celebrate in ways that make sense for you and or join us in this movement in the ways that you can. Thanks.